Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, specifically the newer colors that she recently released. If you're not familiar, Charlotte Tilbury has this color called Pillow Talk. It is a nudie pink color that has taken off People love, love, love it. It goes on really smoothly and nicely and just seems to flatter a number of different complexions. In fact, I have it on right now on my lips, the lip liner and the lip color. Given how well it has performed, she decided to expand that color range and she has added medium and intense, which as the names imply, medium would be a little bit darker than this and then intense would be even darker still. She did new lip colors and a new darker intense blush. So what I did is pull out the OG Pillow Talk items that I own and I ended up making an order for some of the Pillow Talk items that I wanted to add from her new collection and figured I would unbox with you guys, compare them with what I've got, test some on and just kind of share the whole unboxing process and first impressions with you guys. So let's just jump right in. So I admit that I have opened this just to make sure that everything that I ordered was in fact included in here and I wasn't sent something wrong. So I have seen it, but I haven't tried it. So you open it up and you get tissue paper to stick to the sticker. There we go. Actually drop that to the ground and you can see the goodies that I ordered here. Let me put them down and share them with you. So right here we've got the Lip Cheat, which is the lip liner in Pillow Talk Medium. This is a new item from her. It's the eyeliner, the Pillow Talk eyeliner. So I'm really excited to try this. And then in this bubble wrap here, We've got Pillow Talk Medium. What is this one? This is the blush, the new, what is it? I think Intense, yeah, they called it Pillow Talk Intense. So the newer blush. And then this isn't from the expansion collection or what have you, but since I ended up ordering all these things, I decided to purchase her luxury palette of pops from the Pillow Talk range. So that is everything that I purchased. And let's see, how do we wanna start? I'm trying to think. Um, I think what I wanna do is start with the blush first. So let's go with that. So this is the blush. And I'm actually happy I kind of peeked into this, otherwise we'd be on here for a minute because they, smartly made this like a sticker that you need to pop open. So I made sure to open all these off camera so that we're not sitting here and you guys are watching me fumble through and try to open these bad boys. So this is, let me show you, this is the OG Pillow Talk. So this is the OG Pillow Talk blush palette and they're so lovingly called nipple <laughs> blush palettes because I mean, look at them. So the premise behind using these is you're supposed to swish your brush around the outside, apply it, use the center for a pop. I personally do not do that. I just mix it all together and then just apply it like so. So this is the OG and let me open up the Intense and then I'll hold them up and compare them. Here is Pillow Talk Intense. So there you go. OG over here and the Intense over here. So you can see there is a considerable difference in the color, particularly I would say with the uh, swish part. And actually, well, I don't know, maybe it's because I do mix them a bit. The swish part on the newer Intense palette, um, I keep calling it a palette, but you know what I mean, um, looks more matte, but that could be because, like I said, I typically just blend them together and apply. So the shimmer might have spilled over from the center to the uh, swish area on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is apply OG on this side, and then I'll apply Intense on this side so we can get an idea of the difference. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a heads up that this is very pigmented and 
you don't need much. So I'm gonna be very light handed and, and not apply very much to see. So got the OG over here and I'm gonna apply it here. So doing that and you can see there's a lot of products. So I'm gonna tap excess off and just apply very lightly. I kind of almost use it as like a bronzer too. I don't know. I I don't know. Don't don't hate me if I'm applying it in a way that you would not. But this is when I typically apply her blushes without any contour, without any highlighter. I just kind of go the full length here. So. And as I said, I'm just mixing them together. I don't do the whole swish and pop technique. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the camera here to even it out and look. But look, I mean, very little, and I mean a little goes a long, long way. So I kind of hope that the intense does work for me. I hope it's not too, too much, but this is the OG. And I'm using, for reference, in case you're interested, the Sigma Powder Blush F10. If it'll focus, might not, but trust me, that's what it says. <laughs> so that is the OG Pillow Talk Blush. So now we're going to try intense. Let's see. Let's see how intense this is. Good amount. Oh dear. Mm. Oh boy. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Mind you, I tapped it off too. Oh boy. Oh lordy. Okay. All right. Well, no more intense. Um, so. Wow, so even, oh boy, I, I kind of thought I was going to be doing my makeup and, and lasting the day in it, but I don't know. This is awfully intense. This might be good for summertime when I have a hint of color from the sun. Oh dear. Okay, well, you don't need much for the, of the intense if you're of my complexion or lighter. If you're lighter, my goodness, I don't even know if you even would want to buy this. This is, it's aggressive. Okay. But it's nice. It's just, I guess, even though I know and I'm doing it very lightly, I need to go lighter still if I'm going to use the intense. So I am your guinea pig. You've learned from me now. So, okay. I am. So that's intense. That's OG. I feel like I'm looking very uh, slick on camera. I hope not. Oh my gosh. But wow, so there's a considerable difference, I think. Um, let me try to look off camera here. I mean, I guess you could probably build the original up and get that same intensity um, if you so wanted. But I mean, I think this is obviously geared toward darker complexions. So I thought I might have a bit of a chance with it. And I guess I kind of do. I just need to um, be even more light-handed with my application or like I said maybe use it just in the summertime. I don't hate it but you know whew, proceed with caution that's for sure. Um, wow okay sorry it's like I said I this is the first time I'm applying it so I'm like registering and sharing my thoughts with you guys all on camera so I'm just gonna use the intense to kind of try to even this out a bit because oh my what is happening? <laughs> Guys, wow, this is, oh, okay, we might just have to do my makeup all over again when I'm done. I'm going to look like a clown. Oh my goodness. This, I mean, they weren't joking. Pillow Talk Intense Blush is intense. So I'm actually, you know, I knew not to buy the, um, the lip liner and lip color in Intense because those look just way too dark and not even the kind of dark color that I personally would like. It was just not in the color way that I would personally prefer. The medium looked more enticing and maybe a little more up my alley. So I did grab that. Obviously I showed you, so we'll see. But wowie, wow, wow, wow. This blush is no joke, you guys. Okay. I'm lingering way too long on the blush. Okay. Let's just leave that alone. What else? So let's do the lip next. So like I said, I have the original lip on right now and I've pulled them out so you could see, and I will obviously compare them as well. But this is the OG Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Liner, and this is the OG Pillow Talk Matte Revolution Lip Color. So let's 
and and here they are on me so we're gonna try this new medium pillow talk this is the no nope, that's the eyeliner so here's the lip color or not the lip color the lip liner okay so OG and then the new one Let's So you can see it's a uh, considerably darker. Now I'm kind of scared after that blush <laughs> application to see how this is gonna look on me, but we're gonna give it a go. And the lip color got here. You can see the OGs over here. It's been used, the medium is brand new right there, so darker. Sometimes I can't decide how I feel about the OG Pillow Talk because you can see that, I mean, it it does show, but sometimes I kind of wish it was a bit darker. So that's why I ordered this in the hopes of getting that color that I sometimes wish the OG Pillow Talk color had for me and my skin. So we'll see, I'm gonna wipe this off. Okay, and let's apply. Hello Talk Medium. Ooh, guys, I'm scared now. Okay. Liner. You know, the liner for me, the OG liner is one that I always have trouble with because when I try to apply it here, I feel like I don't see it coming off the pencil onto the lips. So I'm hoping that this will remedy that. So yeah, you can see it here for sure. Okay. I'm doing this very quickly because I don't want to waste time on camera. So you definitely can see the liner for sure. Now here, ooh, here's the, the big test, the color. Mm, I like it guys. Wow, on camera, I think on camera it's looking even more rich than it is in person. It's not as, um, I don't think it's as dark in person as it's showing up on camera for you guys. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, ooh, look at that guys. Mm. <laughs> I love it. This one's a win for me. I love this color, mm, pretty. I like it. Like I said, on camera, it's definitely looking super dark. It's looking almost brown and it really isn't in person. It is not, it's not like that at all. So I would highly suggest going to your local department store. I know Nordstrom carries Charlotte Tilbury and I did get an alert that they did get these new colors in. So I would highly suggest that you go in and see if they're gonna work for you because you saw that the blush was super intense, which I still need to work on off camera to even that out because that looks like too much. But the lip color is gorgeous. I think this is great. This lip color, the um, Pillow Talk Medium, is great for a complexion like mine. So if you're like me, this I think could be a, a huge hit, a home run for you, anyone out there looking for something a little deeper than the original Pillow Talk. So that one's a win. This one is a win, I think, in the summer. Not right now because my my poor skin has been seeing many many cloudy days not many sunny ones since we're in winter so that one will have to take a back seat until about june july i think and i will just rely on the original pillow talk blush when i want this color so great now let's move on to the eyeshadows so we've got the i mean this isn't really like in OG and intense or anything like that, but I just ended up purchasing it because I've had my eye on it for some time. So this is the OG Pillow Talk, well, the only really Pillow Talk palette. And if you're not familiar with the way Charlotte Tilbury sets up her eyeshadows, she has a primer, an enhance. This is the Smoke 
and right here is the pop. And with the pop, this is the little uh, pot that you have to apply with your finger for the best results. And I actually did try to use a brush before, but it just does not apply properly. So you do have to use your finger for the pop for the optimal look. So you get this entire eye look in one palette and she tells you step by step on how to use them. So like I said, primer, enhance, I'm reading on the back here. So I give you the right words that she uses. This is, oh, no, this is the smoke, and then this is the pop. So I'm not gonna apply this right now, but I did wanna show you guys since I'm doing a Pillow Talk video. Like I said, since I ended up ordering these newer uh, Pillow Talk Medium products, I decided to purchase the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops because I have had my eye on it for some time, and this is it. It's very, very beautiful. When I purchased it, I thought it was literally, as the name implied, just a palette of pops that, you know, you just pick whichever shade you want to apply to enhance or pop your eye makeup for that day. But according to the back here, it is also set up the same way as the original one. So you've got prime, enhance, smoke, and pop, right? Did I do that right? Prime, yep. So it's just basically a glitter palette of pillow talk. So prime, enhance, smoke, and pop. So like I said, since I am kind of getting my makeup done for the day, what I'm gonna do is pause here, apply this, and then come back and show you what it looks like on because I don't wanna do this on camera and keep you watching for like ever while I apply. And actually before I come off camera, I also want to apply off camera, the eyeliner. This was a new one that I was really excited about. So this is the new Pillow Talk eyeliner. And this is what it looks like. And I'm really, really excited to try this. Based on the images I saw on her website with certain complexions and certain eye colors, this color looked beautiful. It was like a berry plum color. So I did order this to try. So like I said, I'll get off camera, I'll apply this luxury palette of pops to my eyes and the eyeliner and come back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm back. I applied Charlotte Tilbury's luxury palette of pops and pillow talk to my eyes, as well as her new pillow talk eyeliner. So I'm gonna scooch on in and let you guys see it up close and personal. So my first impressions as I was applying this quad was not good and I'll tell you why. As you can see here, we've got these lighter shades for the Prime and Enhance, and as I was applying them, I didn't feel like I was seeing much of the color come onto my eyelids, and initially I was kind of bummed, but then I thought about it, I'm like, wait, this whole quad is full of glitter, and you don't want to look like a disco ball, so I guess it's a good thing. And just for full disclosure, since I told you guys earlier in the video that with the pops you're supposed to apply it with your finger, I did not do that. I'm not about to apply a whole eye look with my finger, it's just not happening. So I did use a, bl a brush, I almost said I did use a blush. I did use a brush for the first three. The pop shade here, I did use my finger, but for the others, I did use a brush for better or worse. I actually think it's better because like I said, this whole palette is all glitter and you don't want to, you know, look like you stepped out of the eighties with like extra glitter on. Yeah, you don't want that. So maybe you do, I don't, but that was the approach I took. I did follow the prime enhance smoke and pop process that Charlotte Tilbury does advise. And like I said, with the first two, I was kind of bummed, but then, you know, started to check my thought process in my head and said, what well, it's all glitter. You know, you don't want it to be too crazy. So it's fine. When I got to the smoke color here, that's when it really popped and kind of brought those first two color applications together. And, and really oddly enough with the smoke colors, when I started to see it pop. So when I went with this one right here is when I felt like, okay, now it's starting to look good. I, I'm, I'm starting to vibe it. And then when I used the pop color over here with my finger, it just gave it a little extra oomph. And when all was said and done, I was pleased with the overall look. Now I did do it very quickly because I didn't want to spend too much time off camera before I came back to you guys. I really do like the look of it on camera. And I don't know if you could tell, but I did take a minute off camera to fix what was going on here on the blush side. So hopefully that is looking a little more 
normal and subdued as well. And the eyeliner, love the eyeliner, you guys. And I am more of a black eyeliner gal. I typically don't stray, I don't even do brown, I don't do navy, but now with having purchased this and trying this, now I'm starting to think I'm gonna venture outside of black for my eyeliner color. And I have been wanting to purchase and try one of Charlotte Tilbury's eyeliners for a very long time. I have a couple colors on my radar, actually one of her browns, I think it was a Barbarella brown, and she has a navy color that kind of I've had my eye on, but I never pulled the trigger. But then when I saw that she came out with this Pillow Talk eyeliner, I was like, yes, please, I'm going to get this. And so not only is it my first time with this new color, but it's also my first time with her eyeliner period and I really loved the way it applied it just glided on I didn't feel like I had to you know go back and forth it just a quick sh and it was on and you could see it and I do think it's really flattering for my complexion and my eye color I don't know you guys can tell me in the comments below I do have brown eyes and I just I really like it like I think I would a hundred percent wear this with the medium like if you just put you know foundation throw this eyeliner on this lip color I mean you could be out the door and just look so beautifully put together easy simple I'm really yeah I'm really really vibing the eyeliner you know overall everything I purchased I'm very pleased with I just need to know their place in my life <laughs> you know as far as for example the blush you don't come out unless it's summer and I've got a serious tan going on because if I try to apply it again, I, I need to know to like just not even swish. There's, you know, there's a couple products that I have that I don't even, I don't swish when I try to apply. For example, going off on a tangent, Kat Von D's Light and Shade Palette. I don't do this because it is so pigmented that if I do that, I mean, it's gonna be a mess. I literally will take the brush with that one and just tap it and enough product comes on. So I think if I'm going to try and use the Pillow Talk Intense Blush in the winter time, I'm going to just tap it. And then whatever pigment comes up on the brush will be enough. The lip color is awesome. Go see it in person. I do think it is coming up on camera darker than it really is. It's lovely. So that's a huge home run. I do love the eye palette. It's beautiful. And the eyeliner home run. I love that one. I love it, love it. And I um, definitely see my bank account coming down a bit because I'm going to buy more eyeliner colors, you know, the, the brown and the, and the navy. Before I go, I did want to let you know that when I did apply the eye color, I did use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer just because that will help, you know, the colors pop more and stay and make it more long lasting. So that is underneath the eye color palette here on my eyes at the moment. I didn't say this at the beginning of the video, but I will make sure to link everything in the comments down below for your reference in case one or more of these items did interest you. You will find a link to the product below so that you can check it out and purchase if you so choose. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Did you like any of these products? Did you not like it? Do you have a suggestion for me? Like, girl, stay away from the intense blush or yeah, use it in the summer, like you said. Let me know your feedback. I welcome all the input from you guys. I love to hear from you. So any and all comments, just let me know below what you think and we'll talk makeup this week. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button that you'll find right around here and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.